while you wait for kickoff from MetLife Stadium. We know there's a massive project top of mind for Bills fans right here in our own backyard. The new Highmark Stadium. You may be familiar with some of the stats, some of the things behind all of this. Of course, the $1.6 billion price tag, 60,000 seats in the new state of the art facility and a 2026 grand opening. And tonight I'm walking you through an update out at One Bills Drive by turning the mic over to those who know this project the best. Tonight, you're going to hear from voices in the local business community hoping to get a piece of this massive project. Gail Bain Turner, the firm overseeing the construction. UB professors familiar with the planning and economics of a project like this and the Orchard Park Town Supervisor, who tells me the impact of this new facility could stretch far beyond one Bill's Drive. But we begin tonight with a man that many of you might recognize, a stadium lot owner who shared his front row seat to history with us. Since 1932, Grandpa started the, this property here, so we've been here all, roughly about 90 years. To say Eric Matuio is a diehard Bills fan would be an understatement. He has lived on family property just down the street from the home of the Bills for decades. A lot of your life's been in surrounding Bills football. Yeah, just about, you know, it's, uh, um, I've gone to almost every game. He also owns the popular Hammers lot just across the street on Abbott Road. It's a tailgating area, uh, a gathering where people have the common interests, the same thing, obviously cheering the bills. But on this day, Matuio joined me for a different kind of tailgate. This is ground zero, gate one. A front row seat on Matuio's front yard to watch construction on the bill's new 60,000 seat state of the art stadium. What's this been like, the construction for you? Uh, the stadium uh, construction, uh, we knew it was going to be something else. Uh, the amount of noise sometimes is ridiculous. We've had a lot of dust factor besides them taking the dirt up from the landscaping aspect. That was bad, but not as bad as when they're taking some of the stone out. And don't forget the explosions. Like an earthquake, it won't really knock you off the, your feet, but you can definitely feel the rolling of, of the explosion. For someone who's you know, been around Bills football for as long as you have, will some of the dust and the noise be worth it in the end, do you think? Well, I think it is. I mean, it's progress. Um, it, it's sort of like building a house, except for it's multiple bigger in size. It's a, a sacrifice by a few people, me, my neighbor, and a couple other people, to the benefit of the whole community. One of the benefits to the Western New York community, jobs. Governor Kathy Hochul believes work on the new Bill Stadium will create 10,000 construction jobs. The joint venture of Gilbane Turner is in charge of managing construction. A project like this is once in a lifetime for a lot of communities. Deb Pereira is deputy program director for Gilbane Turner. I spoke with her at a recent outreach event called Meet the Primes, which connects small certified local contractors with companies bidding for stadium jobs on a larger level. Today's about team building to make sure that the prime contractors are aware of all the resources that are available here locally, qualified companies that can do subcontracting for some of the work. So it's almost like speed dating in some way. You know what <laughs> in, I mean? a, like... in, a, in a certain way it is. Among the more than 300 participants on this day, Esteban Guerrero, a certified electrician from Buffalo with more than 25 years experience. What brought you down here today? Well, basically to kind of see if I get the opportunity as a minority contractor to see if I could work with some of the larger companies. Also here, Jamie McDonough, a safety compliance manager with Sexton Services of Rochester. We all have a common goal. We're trying to take care of uh, the Buffalo Bills Stadium. We're all very proud of our Bills. As you can see today, I'm wearing my red, and, and so it's to celebrate the Bills. Eve Richard Blanc of Buffalo is a certified corporate photographer with 40 years of experience. He's hoping for an opportunity to work on the stadium in branding, marketing, and documentation. Obviously, it can make a huge difference that it can change the trajectory of my business as well, being part of this uh, history-making type of build-out in this region. Blanc tells me if given this opportunity, he could help other small businesses grow in return. Opportunity for all is a big part of the stadium deal. The community benefits agreement includes a 36% goal of including minority, women, and veteran-owned businesses in construction. First thing, Jeff, is we want to make sure that every member of the community 
really feels a part of a project like this. Fuquan Collins is vice president and chief diversity officer with Gilbane Turner. He tells me opportunity sessions continue to be held to work toward those diversity goals. We are fully committed, you know, to, again, meeting those challenges and exceeding them. And this level of investment that has been made by the taxpayers of Buffalo, when this level of investment has been made by the community, that's why it's extremely important for us that the community see the dividends. As the work continues to finalize the workforce to be involved in what many are calling a generational construction project here in Orchard Park, there are at least preliminary discussions going on here in the town about what one one day be built around the stadium whether that's restaurants hotels or even places to live it's opportunity and it's a question of what we do with that opportunity gene majak is the town supervisor of orchard park he met with me to discuss what he envisions for development around the stadium i'd like to see uh, a couple of uh, pedestrian bridges over abbott road and uh, where the stadium is now rather than be parking, and we'd have to solve that problem, um, but to be like a, a small family type village. Majak tells me he sees potential development on properties bordering both the new stadium and the current stadium near Southwestern Boulevard. He says the town board would be willing to rezone those areas to accommodate interested developers, but admits it will come down to the number of events scheduled at the new stadium. The bills have been here for 50 years, and it's been nothing but, um, you know, eight to ten football games a year and and a developer is not going to come here and spend multi-millions of dollars for ten football games. The way the stadium is going to be used, it's going to be used for a lot of different type of uh, opportunities. All of this would be a, this would be a game changer, right, for Orchard Park? Sure, absolutely. A game changer on the heels of an initial $1.4 billion investment into the new stadium. New York State and Erie County contributing a total of $850 million to the project, with the bills picking up the rest and any additional overruns. The Associated Press reported in August that projected costs for the stadium have now jumped past $1.6 billion. The right half of my brain says that's a lot of money. Mm. The left half of my brain says this is going to be the new heart of the Buffalo region. That's where Conrad Kickert and Matthew Rowland come in. They are professors with the University at Buffalo School of Architecture and Planning. We focus on the, the professional disciplines and research focused on architecture, urban planning, and real estate. The school also focuses on the economic impact of various projects. Roland tells me the bulk of the impact from the new Bill Stadium will be the more than $1 billion spent on the construction of the new facility, supply chain impacts, and worker salaries. But amidst the full impact is difficult to weigh when it comes to cultural institutions. The good analogy is, let's take Central Park in New York City, probably the most valuable real estate in the U.S., if not the world, and take that away and sell it. You can't really put a price tag on it. Um, and simply with the bills, especially now that they're successful again, you really can't put a price tag on keeping them in Western New York. Additional boost to the economy will come as the new stadium continues to evolve as a regional destination, attracting more visitors from outside the area. That draw comes with scheduling for things other than football, special events, conventions, or even big concerts. The Taylor Swift Tour, the Eras Tour, you know, 150 concerts. Does a new stadium put Buffalo on the map for the potential of drawing some of those bigger events? It's whoever programs it. You have a nice stadium that's sort of the precondition for any of these events to come in. Now it's up to an organization to say, I will bring it like a sponge to make sure that it has visitors every week, several times a week. You know, that's that's where Taylor Swift shows up. While this new stadium will help bring the bills into the 21st century, the ultimate goal is to take this venue beyond the game. The stadium, it's true, dollars and cents, um, perhaps don't always make sense. It's about the culture, it's about the identity. What really matters is this is a great start. Now is the time to be intentional about how to get the most out of this stadium. And that conversation will be ongoing, right? A generational project, 1.6, the AP reporting that that price tag now up to 1.7 or pushing 1.7 in terms of the price tag for the new Bills Stadium. So a lot of eyes on this project and what it means not only to the hometown team, 
but the Western New York community. I did reach out to the Bills. They do have a, a creative sort of virtual uh, new stadium experience on tap for later on. And of course, we'll stay on top of that for you as well. But yes. so much going on down there in Orchard Great Park. Great work there. Now we know everything there is to know. For now. The stadium. Right? Yeah. For now. And you'll update us whenever we you will. have to. Yeah. It's exciting to watch. Yes. The heart of Buffalo for sure.